police in Carson City, Nevada, now say the gunman in Tuesday's deadly restaurant rampage was well, held a decade ago for psychiatric evaluation and care. Eduardo Sencion appeared to be targeting a table of National Guard soldiers in uniform, but we still don't know why. CBS News correspondent Bill Whitaker has more on the attack and the victims, including a dramatic call to 911. The horror and panic unleashed by Eduardo Sessione firing an assault rifle in this Carson City IHOP captured as it all unfolded with frantic 911 calls. IHOP, get there right now. Automatic weapons. Now he's coming back out with a gun. He's shooting people in the parking lot. He's got an automatic weapon. Before taking his own life, Sessione's wild rampage took the lives of four others. 67-year-old Florence Gunderson had breakfast every morning with her husband Wally, an ex-Marine. He was wounded, she was killed. I think people should be able to go to IHOP and have breakfast and come home to their families. In a few short hours, we lost the same number of soldiers we lost in the entirety operations Iraqi and enduring freedom. <laughs> the gunman shot five National Guard members. He killed three. Sergeant First Class Miranda McElhinney was a fast riser in our enlisted corps. She also owned a small baking company and was famous in our headquarters providing cupcakes for every promotion. Sergeant First Class Christian Rigi was an avid fitness buff and father of three. Who earned his combat spurs with the first of the 221st Cavalry in Afghanistan. Major Heath Kelly was a decorated field officer, a husband and father and grandson of Janet Scarufi of Kenner, Louisiana. This kind of pain, there's no medicine. It hurts to know that everything that should have been won't be because somebody chose to do the wrong thing. I choose to remember him. As his honorable father and husband and defender of peace. It's such a waste, such a waste of such a wonderful human being. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Carson City, Nevada. Three of the seven people wounded in the attacks are now out of the hospital. The Nevada Army National Guard is planning a memorial service on Sunday for the soldiers who died.